share with you all my recipe for a red homemade sweet and spicy mango. And for this recipe, I have here one mango chopped up. I'm just making a small portion. You all could make it double or triple this recipe if you like. You'll need some bay leaves and this is cement leaves. This we get in Trinidad. Um, I have a plant which I'm lucky to have, but out here in the US, it's very hard to find the cement leaves. I also have two cinnamon sticks and a half of a star anise. And I'm putting half of the star anise because I don't want it to overpower the mango. You'll need some red coloring, some hot pepper chopped up. I'm using two whole hot peppers and you can put as much or as little as you like. You'll need some brown sugar, salt and black pepper to taste. So the first thing we're going to do is, I put up my pot of water to boil. We're going to put in our mango slices and I left the seeds and the skin on. And we're going to boil this until the skin is tender. Okay, so the mangoes just took five minutes. These American mangoes tend to boil really quickly. So I'm going to take this off and drain it. Okay, when you drain out your mangoes, just give it a rinse in case it has any of that gray residue left over from the boiling process. Now to this, we're going to add in about a half a cup of water. We're going to put in the cinnamon and the star anise, the two bay leaves, some brown sugar, hot pepper, the red food coloring, and you're going to put in some salt to taste, just a little, because remember this is more of a sweet, less of a savory, and a little bit of black pepper. And now you're going to allow this to come up to a boil. Now you want this mango to be red, so as you are cooking it down, if it needs more of that red coloring, then add some. So I'm just going to let this start to boil and then I'll decide if it needs more. Okay, so it's bubbling away. I'm just going to drop the heat back let it take to medium its time and let that sauce thicken up. And you see that nice lovely red color the mango has? That's what you want. So once your sauce has thickened up and your mango is tender, now if you don't turn it as much, your mango will remain intact like mine is. So what you want to do now is take this off. You're going to taste it for salt and taste it for sugar and adjust it accordingly. I tasted mine and it is perfect. And what I'm going to do now is dish this out and show you all what it looks like. So here you have it, my homemade spicy and sweet red mango recipe. I hope you guys tried this recipe. Make it and let me know down below if you like it. If you all make it differently, let me know how you all make it. Next time I can try that way. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy! Enjoy!